amazing thing about just the whole trip to Pittsburgh was how everything turned out. I reached out to Vintage just to let them know that I was going to Pittsburgh, that I'm interested in serving in any capacity that I could. But then the interesting part is that I had a friend who reached out to me saying that he wanted to go on vacation and he did not know where to go. Was I going anywhere? And even with like my work schedule, everything just worked out. So it was just like, wow, Lord. Like going to Pittsburgh, it wasn't just me like dreaming, it was you really putting it on my heart that I needed to go to Pittsburgh. So one of my big passions here just with serving with vintage is photography. I feel like the Lord put that as a gift in my heart a few years ago and just coming to this church and seeing that there was an opportunity to do that. So I took that gift with me to Vintage Pit because I believe that I could serve them in a larger capacity, provide them with more photos for them to use for their social media. So it was kind of exciting for me to go to a different city, going in and using that gift of photography just to impact people's lives. Friday that I traveled, I had the opportunity to have a gospel conversation with my friend, just talking more about his beliefs and understanding what he his views are in terms of just religion. I found myself cutting my friend off at points where we didn't agree and at those points, I would try to insert the Bible in. So while I was serving at VPIT on Sunday, I noticed that with some photos, I would just sit down in the same spot, even if it's just like standing or, or squatting, I'll just be staying in the same spot for a long time, waiting for the perfect shot. And then that's when the Lord spoke to me and said like this patience that you have waiting to get the right shot, waiting for the right moment, that that is the same level of patience I should have had, that there was no point in interjecting at every point. You should have let him speak his points and then speak my words to him. Just with the Lord every day, there's so much that you learn. And it's always going to be a learning process, even till our last moment. So just using every opportunity that you have in your life, just to listen to the Lord and learn from him because you never know what he's going to show you. I would have never known that if I didn't take the trip, if my friend didn't come around, the Lord wouldn't have pointed that big fact out that you need to have more patience in your life. I would have never known that. So I was really grateful that the Lord could show me that on my trip. to understand that a life is really not our own and we talk about us living our life for Christ every single day you know how does that look like and then I think of Abraham when the Lord told Abraham to go he just up and went he didn't ask questions he didn't say well Lord I have all of this plan so just trust the Lord you never know where he's putting your heart you never know where he's going to take you and Sometimes you have to take that next step and just taking that step of faith and just going and trusting the Lord, that, that is just so important because that would lead you to a deeper, closer relationship with the Lord. And then exploring Pittsburgh was fun, so I would definitely recommend that too.